behind the bar here, and she's not holding the bar. What's happening is she is wedging the bar into her back. She's created a vice where the whole upper body is viced against thoracic extension. It's the thoracic spine here. Okay? She's going to step back, and you can see that the posterior delt is blocking the bar, so it can't go down. All this does is shortens the spinal cycle that's operating under the weight. Does that make sense? This is the only real difference between this and the high bar back squat. The consequence of this reduces all the, the results we're looking to get. But it's just biomechanics. By shortening the spinal lever, all the angles have to change, which means that the muscles that are being loaded have to change. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yep. I do that on both sides. Then make sure it's even, and, and then do that again. Real low. Right. There. Okay, set your feet. Chest up. Eyes on the floor. Knees out. Stand up. Take a step back. Let that's good. Hips go back. Knees go up. Back up. Let yourself pull. Let's the bars on you. Like that. Roll the downside of the bar. Back. Because your grip is too narrow. Okay. If you bring your grip out, it shouldn't be any that problem. But okay. I want there to be no movement. Yep. Everything should be fixed so it's up here like this. Make sure it's even. It's not quite even. Use a point of reference. Shove, 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 shove. Bounce. Good lead to the hip. S2, do it again. Shove all the way down. Bounce. Three. That was much better. Two more. 